All right, fellas. So here's where I'm at. I didn't get much time to work on it this weekend. And then I got super busy during the week. But here's where we're at. We got a little clearance there. I'm going to lay the motor right on the chassis. It looks like we're going to have a little bit of breakout right here. But it is what it is if we want to get that big old can in there without having to design a whole new motor mount. We'll make this look pretty. Don't worry. The head of that screw is actually 320, but our special tools that we use, that we have ground to cut that hole is at 340. So the screw head will clear, but our specially ground drill that we use to do countersinks for the four millimeter bolts will not. So we'll come in there and I'll probably bring a little tool path in and, and kind of sweep around there and make that look nice so it's not all choppy like that. Let's see what we got. Ah. Let's go put it on a car and see. I got her fitted up. Let's see. So I'm doing this with the, the printed part, of course. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Um, yeah, I'm trying to do this one-handed. Now I can see that you're gonna have to loosen your motor mount up a little bit to get past the side bend in the chassis. So because I'm, you know, with the plastic, it'll flex a little bit. But there she is, boys. Look at that. It's going to lay right on the chassis. Now we just got to get the rest figured out. So we're back at it. Um, so I'm lining these chassis up. This is, I might have bent this chassis the wrong way. Just have to have it lay in there. But as you can see, looks like we extended the front end. It's been a while since we did the jackhammer conversion so I wanted to double check to make sure I wasn't steering myself wrong so but look at what happened here so here's a 1403 and here's a 1453 reverse mount okay so I thought I was gonna be able to just say just do a mirror on this thing right nice and easy all we gotta do is mirror the part not so easy so it looks like at some point on the forward mount and the reverse mount you see the one with the deeper groove that is the reverse mount and that's why we got this extended this extended lip down here on the bottom we must have uh, had some problems with breaking out with the bigger motors if I remember correctly so we had to uh, we had to modify the geometry on the reverse mount and put a bigger put a bigger groove and a bigger lip so now that leaves me a little more of a challenge, but I don't, well, only on the front mount. So that leaves me with a little bit of a problem, not really. With the 56118 fit on the front of the jackhammer, in theory, yes, but I'd have to make a new motor mount and I'd have to make a new slide. And I just don't see a lot of people buying that, so not much point in putting in a bunch of extra work. But what we are going to do is we're still going to continue full steam ahead with putting the 5690 or even on the jackhammer. So I'm going to get back to it and we're going to continue on. But the 56118, I'm going to say is out. Oh, but I forgot the original point. So it turns out that we extended the front of the jackhammer, all right? the back of the jackhammer is good to go so we will be able to fit 56 113 maximum because we got the room there we saw that in the last video so that said i'm going to continue on i'm going to make some samples i'm going to get these out to the test team we're going to see if it'll work i, I got faith in it i think it's going to go